Come on, someone pass the ball to Jimmy. Pass it. There we go. There you go, Jimmy. Yes, two points for the Heat. Boiny, go to sleep. I'll go to sleep as soon as this Miami Heat game's over. But Boiny, aren't you on call for the fire station tonight? What if there's a fire? You're going to need some sleep. Honey, fires don't happen at night. The only fire happening tonight is the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler because he is on fire. Boiny, I still think you need some rest. Jimmy Butler doesn't need rest. 40 minutes of playing time is insane. Jimmy Butler's not a firefighter, Boiny. Yeah, well, he might as well be because he's always dealing with the heat. Boiny, just go to sleep. Yeah, I'll go to sleep if they win. When they win. They're going to win. What if they lose? Well, then I will stay up until their next game. Just go to sleep. Uh, yeah, come on, Jimmy. <laughs> the Heat won. Go Heat. Shh, Boiny. <laughs> Houston Rockets. More like Houston Suckets because I suck at basketball. <laughs> they should change their name to that. Go to bed, Boiny. I am Karen. Oh, man, Jimmy Butler's so cool. He put up 30 points by himself. I bet Jimmy Butler could put up 30 points from his bed. I bet I could put up 30 points from bed. Oh, this is going to be great. I'm Jimmy Butler. Boy, what the hell are you doing? Shut up, Karen. This is going to be cool. I'm Jimmy Butler. Okay, that was me shooting, but this is going to be Jimmy. Boy, please. It's so late to be playing paper basketball. I just want to make one shot, Karen. Well, well how long is that going to take? It ends right here. Okay, this is starting to piss me off. Boiny, please go to bed. It's okay, Karen. It's game seven of the NBA Finals. They're up by one. There's three seconds left. It's up to me to make the game-winning shot. Three, two, one. I missed. We lost. Wait, what's that? Three more seconds were magically added. I get another shot. Boiny. It's okay, Karen. Three, two, one. Well, shit. Boiny, go to bed. Okay, okay. I'm going to bed. I'm done. What's that? I was fouled, and I get a free throw. Boy, what the hell? I was fouled, Karen. I get a free throw. Uh. All right, Boyne, you lost. The game's over. You were fouled. No time added to the clock magically. Now hand me the notebook paper. But, but, but I need this notebook for work. Give it to me, Boyne. No, no, I promise I won't touch it. Good night. You promise? I promise. Good night. Good night. You. Go to bed, Boyney! You never let me have any fun! Boyney, what are you doing now? I'm eating chips and queso. What? Uh, Karen, you know I have chips and queso in bed after every heat win. Boyney, please, just go to sleep! Okay, fine, right after this chip. Oh, man, the fire chief's calling. Hello? Gary, there's a fire at an apartment complex and you're the only firefighter within a hundred miles. Get your ass down here. Uh, okay, right away, sir. What's wrong, Boyne? Uh, there's a fire. Well, Boyne, you gotta get ready. You gotta get up. You gotta go. Uh, but I'm tired. Well, you shouldn't have stayed up all night watching basketball and playing paper basketball and eating chips and queso in bed. Uh, I know, I know. All right, let me just get my fire outfit. Uh, where is that firefighter outfit? Not cop. Uh, not doctor. Uh, not clown. Not airline pilot. Not karate instructor. Damn it. Karen, have you seen my firefighter outfit? No, Boiny, I haven't seen it anywhere. Did you check the drawer? Yeah, no shit, I checked the drawer. Uh, let me just lay here and think about the last time I had it. Maybe I'll think better with my eyes closed. Hold on. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I have 39 missed calls from the fire chief? Oh no, the fire! That was hours ago, right? I mean, somebody had to have put it out by now. I better go to the fire station. Hey, hey there, chief. I'm here. I got your calls. Oh, did you? Well, where you been, guy? You're several hours late. I, I had a, a flat tire and the heat one. Oh, yeah? Well, the heat one against that apartment building, too, because the whole building burned down and all 50 people inside died. What? 50 people died? Why didn't anybody put out the fire? Well, you were the only firefighter we had on duty, guy. We were waiting on you. Well, why didn't you put out the fire? I, I'm the chief. I, I'm the police chief and the firefighter chief. I, I don't do that. I'm the chief. What? So, so 50 people died? 
die because of me? Yes, guy! We were waiting on you, and you never came! This is all your fault! Uh, uh, 50 people died because of me! Whitey, what's wrong? Did you put out the fire? No, I let 50 people die. What? I fell asleep after the chief called me, so nobody was there to put out the fire. So the building burned down and everyone died. Boyney, how could you? I was just so tired. Well, you shouldn't have stayed up all night, Boyney. Think of all the people that suffered. I didn't think watching the heat would make so many people die from heat. I just can't believe all those people burning the women and the children and the poor animals. Oh, God, the animals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go to one of my other jobs and try to distract myself. <laughs> uh, maybe flying a plane will help me clear my mind. Let me just tell everybody the weather. Uh, thanks for flying Spirit Airlines today. Uh, weather's looking pretty smooth. It's a nice 87 degrees outside. Uh, should be nice and smooth sailing from here to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm crying. It's just that I killed 50 people earlier today. I just really hope I don't kill anyone else. <laughs> Why are they screaming? There's no turbulence. Damn it, Gar, you scared the hell out of those passengers! I'm sorry, Flight Chief. I just wanted to tell them about the 50 people I killed. Well, maybe you shouldn't fly a plane for a little while. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I'll go do my doctor job, then I can actually save lives. Well, time to save some lives. Okay, nurse, what patients do we have today? No patients today, doctor. Just a bunch of corpses from the fire that happened earlier this morning. Oh, God, no! Or little Timmy over here, for example. Oh, Timmy, I'm sorry, Timmy. This is all my fault. Are you okay, doctor? No, I'm just gonna go do house calls. Oh, man, I'm so sick. <laughs> Jeffy, can you please bring me a cough drop? Oh, yeah, daddy. I got your cough drop right Right here, go ahead and grab it. Jeffy, don't talk like that, give it to me. Oh yeah! Baby, can you take the wrapper off? Okay. Oh, you don't like protection, Daddy? You like it raw? Jeffy, shut up. Here, Marvin. Oh yeah, put that thing in your mouth, Daddy. Does it feel huge in your mouth? Jeffy, shut up, just get out of here. All right. Baby, did you call a doctor? Yeah, he's on his way, Marvin. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. What's wrong with you? Well, I have a really bad cough. Uh, well, at least you didn't burn to death. <laughs> what? Marvin, look, the news! Uh. Breaking news, okay? An apartment complex burned down, killing 50 people inside because the fire department didn't show up. How sad. Oh my god, those poor people! Why didn't the fire department show up? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he was too busy sleeping because he stayed up all night watching the heat and then he was eating chips and queso and playing paper basketball. Maybe that's why. Well, that's really irresponsible. I know. I'm so sorry. Wait, you did all those things? Yeah. You killed those people? Don't rub it in. I already feel bad enough. Well, baby, it might not be completely his fault. What, what, what happened to the other firefighters? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's like a recession and we're under Stabbed, I don't know. And like there was 50 people in the building. Why didn't some of them run out? Well, who knows? Maybe they were trapped. And I could have saved them. Well, don't beat yourself up about it, buddy. You know, you win some, you lose 50 people sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's not completely your fault. You could have only saved, like, what, possibly 25 if you tried? Yeah, you're probably right. I feel a lot better now. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a birthday party I have to go be a clown at. Wait, 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 my cough, my... <coughs> oh, dang it. Happy birthday, Tyler. All your friends are here. Do you want to open your gifts? Of course I do. That's the only good thing about my birthday. Okay, your first gift is a Lego Speed Champions. That's not what I wanted, you bitch. Tyler. Well, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Go work at Taco Bell or something, Felipe. Tyler, don't talk to your friends. This party sucks ass. Oh, look, Tyler, your clown is here. Hey, everybody, it's me, Bobo the Clown. Make me a balloon, animal, funny man. Oh, I left my balloons at home, but hey, check this out. My nose squeaks. You're a bum. Tyler, behave yourself. No, no, he's right. I'm a bum. I killed 50 people this morning. <laughs> No, not on purpose. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm taking his Legos. 
Damn it, where is Guy? He's late! Sorry, sir, I had to come from my clown job. Well, you have bigger problems than that! You remember those 50 people that died in that fire? Yeah, don't remind me, I know it's my fault. Well, actually, it's not! It turns out all 50 of those people were shot in the head before the murderer burned the building down! Wait, so you're telling me they died from getting shot? They didn't die in the fire? So, it doesn't matter that I watched the Heat game and ate chips and queso and played paper basketball. Oh, thank God! I'm so happy now! But we still have to catch that murderer! We set up a sting operation at a gas station, and he should be there at 6 o'clock, so you need to get your ass down there and catch him! But, sir, the Heat game starts at 6 o'clock. Guy! Get down there and stop that murderer! Don't screw this up! Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, go Heat! Orlando Magic! More like the Orlando Suckets, because they suck at basketball. <laughs> That's what they should change their name to. Boyney, didn't you say you had something to do tonight? Yeah, watch the Heat! <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God, I am so fired. Let's go swimming in your pool. I just want an excuse to take my clothes off around you guys. Yeah, dude, let's swim. But I'm gonna keep my shirt on. Yeah, I keep my shirt on too. Oh, come on, guys. You guys are lame. Let's see some belly button. Or any hole for that matter. Damn it. Come on, Ken. Oh, man, Joseph, I can't wait to go swimming. Oh, yeah, dude, it's gonna be so much fun. Hey, bruh. Wait, who are you? I'm Brad with a big D. Hey, do you mind if I go surfing in your pool? Well, there's no waves in my pool. Yeah, there are. Look at all those little ones. Okay, I guess you can. Oh, uh, thanks, bruh. That was weird. Right? All right, Ken, put some sunscreen on me. You know I burn like a DiGiorno pizza that's been left in the oven for five minutes too long. And make sure you get plenty between my butt cheeks. I don't want a pale crack. Ken, Ken, I don't feel anything wet dripping on my back. <laughs> Ken, Ken, what are you doing? Ken, what are you looking at? What the? Ken, you're looking at him? Huh, you think he's hot? Yeah, well look at him. Look at him all you want, cause he's not even hunky. He doesn't even have muscles like I do. Look at me, Ken. Look at me! Ken! Ken! Oh, oh okay, okay, you want him so much? Then you can have him. Joseph, we should play pool basketball. Oh yeah, dude, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> guys, I'm not swimming anymore. What's wrong, Cody? Cause Ken is flirting with that hot new guy in the pool. You mean Brad with a big D? Oh God, you've seen it. My two inch pincher can't compete with a big D. <laughs> <sighs> let's go see what's wrong with Cody. Oh, Ken? <laughs> Calm down, Cody. No, why is Ken looking at other guys? Am I not hot enough for him? No. What? But I have a six pack. Dude, your face looks like a pizza. Yeah, there's pepperonis all over your face. Well, okay, I know my face isn't that hot, but the the rest of me's hot. I'm hotter than Brad. Well, Brad's face looks better. No, Brad's ugly. I wouldn't kiss him if he was the last man on earth. Okay, well, maybe I would. Maybe, maybe I would kiss him if he, like, cornered me alone in a room. Actually, maybe I'd approach him and kiss him. No, oh God, he's a stud muffin. See, look, if you think Brad's hot, why are you mad at Ken for thinking he's hot? Well, but, you know, don't stare at him like that. You know, don't break your neck. His, his head was turned so far to the right, I thought his head was gonna fall off. What, Ken? Hey, I don't really appreciate you throwing your doll at me like that. Well, he was basically throwing himself at you. Anyway, thanks for letting me use your pool, Junior. Bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Jeez, why is everyone sucking him off so much? He's not that great. I mean, I know his hair is fantastic, and his tan is really hot, and he has beautiful blue eyes. Ken, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? What'd you do when I left, huh? You, you guys do the hokey pokey, huh? Turn yourself around, slut? What, well, Cody, how about we play a board game so you can stop arguing with Ken? <sighs> okay, yeah. Okay, guys, I have two board games we can play. We can play Gobble Monster. <laughs> That's what Ken was being with Brad's nuts. A little Gobble Monster. Or we can play Rattlesnake Jake. <laughs> yeah, Ken was playing with Brad's rattlesnake. His wiener. Can we just play Gobble Monster? <laughs> hey, look at me. Who am I? <laughs> oh, it's Brad's nuts. I'm a little Gobble Monster. <laughs> Dude, you're going to ruin the game. Yeah, Cody, are you going to play? Yeah, I'll play. Ken can just sit here and watch. Since he likes to watch so much, like he was watching Brad in the pool under the waterfall in slow motion. Cody, we don't I don't want to hear you and Ken argue. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear that, Ken? They don't want to hear you argue, so get out of here! Damn, dude, you're gonna break your doll! Nah, don't worry about him. He's pretty durable. I've done worse. Alright, guys, let's play Gobble Monster. <laughs> Ken's a little Gobble Monster for nuts. We get it, nigga, God! Okay, guys, let's play. How do you play? Well, you pull his tongue out and you put the toys on his tongue. Wait, pull his tongue out? Wait. Jesus H. Christ, I like this. Yeah, and then we press his button. And now, every time you touch the tongue, 
It makes it noise, so if we put the toys on his tongue and we try to grab it, you have to grab all the toys before his tongue sucks back okay, in his mouth. I think I see where this is going. <laughs> I like this thing. Hey, could you guys give me a minute alone with this? Well, Cody, no, we want to play the game. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I think I have a different game in mind. <laughs> well, we want to play the game, so leave, Cody. Yeah, I guess you guys are right. I should probably go check on Ken. I feel bad for arguing with him. This kind of made me think of him. All right, let's play before he gets back. Yes, yeah, finally, dude. Ken? Ken? I'm sorry I threw you. I just want to talk and apologize. What? Ken? Ken, what are you doing here with all these dudes? Is that Buzz Lightyear? Oh, hell no. First you're looking at Brad, and now you're cuddled up with all these dudes and Buzz Lightyear? Oh, I get it. Buzz Lightyear's enough for you. You don't want me anymore. Okay, fine. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Your turn, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go for this piece. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? Me and Ken broke up. He cheated on me with Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear? To infinity and beyond. <laughs> I hate him. Well, cheer up, Cody. Cheer up? How would you feel if your boyfriend cheated on you with Buzz Lightyear? Well, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and cry. I'll never be happy ever again. So, uh, are we gonna finish this game? Yeah, let's play again. Alright, All right, Joseph, it's your turn to grab a nugget. Okay, dude. Huh? Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, my turn. Oh, you cheated, dude. You just pushed it off. Bonk! See, you cheated. It was, it was supposed to jump on you. Oh, that scared me. Oh, we haven't heard from Cody in a long time. I wonder what he's doing, dude. Let's go check on him. Hmm. I hope Cody's home. Hello? Hey, is Cody here? Oh, no. Who's at the door, baby? They want to see Cody. Oh, Shamu, the beach whale. Yeah, he washed up earlier today. Yeah, you want to see the behemoth. I thought I was already looking at a behemoth. Oh, no, I'm big, but Cody, oh, good grief. That's a big bitch. Yeah, huge. You got to pay to see that. Yeah, you boys can come in, but be careful. Do you have any food on you? He can smell it a mile away. But, no, I don't have any food. Okay, you boys can come in, but just watch out. Shh, shh, shh. All right, kids, there he is. Mom, can you give me some more Chunky Monkey ice cream? Jesus. Yeah, he's in his natural habitat. Being a fat ass pig, get up, boy. Oink, 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 you got customers. What, Junior, is that you? Cody. Hey, hey, you want to feed him? Five dollars, you get to feed him all the Oreos you want. I want to feed him. Here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, here you go. Hey, hey, no biting. You're going to run away to customers, boy. Uh-oh. It's not worth it. Cody, why are you so fat? Well, if your boyfriend cheats on you, what's the point in staying hunky? Why are you in your underwear? Oh, none of my clothes fit anymore. Hey, do you guys know how good Chunky Monkey ice cream is? I mean, it is like the best <laughs> mother ice cream I've ever had. I mean, chocolate fudge brownie's pretty good, but oh, God, Chunky Monkey. Well, Cody, we really want to hang out with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll my way over to your place at some point. Okay, we'll, we'll see you later, Cody. Another happy customer. All right, boy, get ready for the next family. Come one, come all. Let's see the fattest boy on planet Earth. <laughs> he won't bite. Come on, dude, I want a rematch. You cheated. I didn't cheat, Joseph. You suck at the game. Get good. <laughs> Cheating? You mean like Ken did to me? Oh, hey, Cody. Don't you mean roundy? Because <laughs> he's big and round and a fat. That's lame, Joseph. <laughs> dude, I tried. Hey, you guys have room on the couch for me and my ice cream? I mean, not the ice cream. You Probably get, get rid of that. Well, I can't just get rid of this. Why? Well, because it's Chunky Monkey, Junior. Chunky Monkey's just so f sucking delicious. Oh, you don't know, you don't even understand. If you had a lick of my Chunky Monkey, you would understand. And then maybe you could try my ice cream. <laughs> well, I don't like how fat you are, Cody. Yeah, it's very ugly. Yeah, you're, you're really fat. Hard to look at you. Okay, well, I, I do still have feelings. Well, no guy's gonna want you being that fat. Oh, yeah? Well, how about I introduce you guys to my new boyfriend, Minecraft Steve. What, Minecraft Steve? Yeah, he can punch down trees with his bare hands. It's badass. Everything about him is blocky. And I mean everything. <laughs> it's actually kind of a problem, because he has a lot of hard corners. But, you know, my bunghole is square-shaped now. <laughs> so, like, you really like him? Oh, yeah. I think you could say things are getting pretty serious. He built us a cabin in the woods. And then some creepers blew it up, but <laughs> that's just life, you know? Isn't that right, Steve? <laughs> well, as long as you're happy, Cody. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy. <laughs> I hate Minecraft, Steve. All he ever does is punch dirt and collect rocks. He's so lame. Well, why don't you just take Ken back? I can't take Ken back. He cheated on me with Buzz Lightyear. Well, did you ever physically see him cheat? Well, no, but he was looking at other guys, and then I found him with a whole bunch of other guys in Buzz Lightyear. Well, don't you always hang out with other dudes? Oh, yeah. 
So, like, that's, what's the difference? You're just being mad for no reason. O okay, but e even if I did want to get back with Ken, he wouldn't take me if I look like this. Well, just lose the weight. Stop eating Chunky Monkey. Junior, I can't stop eating Chunky Monkey. It's so goddamn fucking delicious. Ugh. But no, I can't do that. I mean, look, I can't just drop the weight. It's not like I can just have a montage and lose all the weight suddenly. Oh, wait. This is YouTube. <laughs> I can do exactly that. Okay. All right, Joseph, it's your turn. Okay, I'll do it. Dude, you cheated! You must have set it up! Oh no, you just suck at the game. No, I don't! Hey guys, I'm back. Whoa, Cody, you're ripped! Yeah, didn't even take long. Well, you want some more Chunky Monkey? Ugh, chunky Monkey. No, I can't. This monkey is no longer Chunky. I'm Hunky Monkey now. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now, Cody? I'm gonna get my boyfriend back. Ken, I want you back, and I'm willing to fight all these guys to do it. So come on, one at a time, let's see what you got. Oh, Buzz Lightyear, huh? Well, you're not even a flying toy. <clears throat> oh, you're an astronaut? Well, this is one small step for man and one giant foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, Woody, you've got a friend in me, but you've also got a foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, the Green Goblin? Don't tell Harry about the foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, Superman, my mom's name's Martha too. <clears throat> Just kidding, foot in your ass. Come on, Ken, let's get out of here. Hey guys, me and Ken worked it out. We decided we can look at other guys, but if we decide to add a third guy to this gumbo, we both have to approve him. So what are you guys doing? We're playing Rattlesnake Jake. That looks fun. Uh, your turn, Joseph. Okay, dude. Ha ha ha. My turn. Stop wiping it off, dude. You're, just, you're not even picking it up. All right, my piece went over there. Your turn. God, I'm over this game. <laughs> I'm gonna borrow this. I'm gonna bend over in front of it. Come on, Ken. I'm doing our taxes. Oh, how's that going? Not good? No, Karen, not good. We're not making enough money and we're spending too much. And what little we do have left over is getting taken by Uncle Sam. Yeah, Uncle Sam's stealing our money? F*** him! No, Karen, Uncle Sam is the government. They need our money to spend on roads or something, but I don't know why that's my problem. I don't drive on all the roads. Just bill me for the ones I do use. They could just print more money anyway. Well, are we getting any money back this year? Yeah, like $200. That's enough for us to get Manny Patties together! I don't have any petties, Karen. Neither do you. Oh. Yeah. God, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I have all these jobs, but I'm not a CPA. God, I hate the IRS. If I could talk to them, I'd tell them to suck my butt. Boyney, that's icky. That's potty mouth talk. Nope, that's what I'd say. I'd say, suck my butt. Boyney, that's too much. Nope, I think that's just right. Suck my butt. Boyney, cut it out. They're butt suckers, Karen. Ugh, I'm just going to check our bank account and see if we got our money. Yeah, see if those butt suckers paid us. Holy baloney, Boyney. We got $200,000 from the IRS. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, Karen, but it's not making me feel any better. No, Boyney, look! Let me see that. What? IRS deposit $200,000. Karen, do you know what this means? The IRS made a mistake and we gotta give them their money back? No, no, this means I did our taxes so good, they're rewarding me by giving me $200,000. Boyney, I don't think they do that. No, no, I think I heard about this. I, I think if you do your taxes perfectly, they give you a bunch of money. Boyney, I think we should call the IRS and tell them they made a mistake. No, fuck that. If I make a mistake, I go to jail. If they make a mistake, they get their money back. No, that's not fair. I don't like that. Well, Boyney, what should we do? Hmm. Well, I think you're right, Karen. I think we should should go to Applebee's and talk this over before we commit tax fraud. I didn't say any of that. But you were thinking it. No. Nope. Come on, Karen, you're right. We should get wonton tacos. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Karen, I just don't know what to eat first. Should I start with my four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tenders or the wonton tacos? No, Boiny, the wonton tacos are mine. I call dibs. Oh, Karen, we have $200,000 of IRS money. We can always afford more. We already have so much food, Boiny. Hello, can I get you guys anything? Yes, I'll have five more spinach artichoke dips. These are lonely. Sir, are you sure you need 10 artichoke dips? Need? No. Deserve? Yes. It's not every day the IRS accidentally sends you $200,000 and you keep it instead of giving it back so you can spend it all on Applebee's. Yes, you told me that several times already. I just want to make sure everybody knows. Well, it must be nice. Oh, yes, it is. It is very nice.
Well, sir, in that case, would you like to round up to the nearest dollar on your bill to help save starving children? No, they're good. I think my tax money will take care of them. It's not like I see them anyway, and if I can't see them, they're not starving. I mean, I'm not starving. Boy, me! Karen. I see you don't have anything to drink. Would you like me to bring you something? Hmm, yeah, I think I want something from the top shelf. Yeah, I think I'll have a two-liter bottle of Coke Zero for the table. Oh, I'm sorry. We only have Pepsi products. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. I guess just bring me a two-liter bottle of piss, then, because it's basically the same thing. Boy, me! No, no, Karen, I am a $200,000 heir and I will be treated as such! Well, actually, after all this food, I'm gonna have less than that. And I already bought this suit for $2,000 at Men's Warehouse, so I actually, I, I'm a $198,000 heir. But still, I have a lot of money and I deserve to be treated differently because of that. Boyney, you're just a regular guy! No, I'm not, Karen, I'm not a regular guy. I am Brooklyn T guy. I'm him, okay? I carry this shit. We're at almost four minutes in the second scene because of me! All right, well, just let me know if you need anything else. More dip, and also some dessert cake. I don't think she heard me. Hey, Marvin, you want some dessert cake? What? Dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so full from all the Applebee's I just ate. Sorry. It's dessert cake from Applebee's. Do you want it? Um, no, I'm on a diet. Well, it's pretty good. I, I mean, I, at least I think I, it's good. I, I'm still full from the $600 of Applebee's I just ate, hence the burping. Well, you spent $600 on Applebee's? Yeah, yeah, because I got it like that, Marvin. Ask me how my wallet got so fat. Your, your wallet's fat? Oh, it's so fat, Marvin. It needs gastric bypass surgery from how fat it is. It needs, like, one of those little scooters at Walmart to go around the store because that, that's how fat my wallet is. It's like those fat people from Wally, -E, you know, like halfway through the movie when they go up into the spaceship and there's all those fat people. All of those people are my wallet. Okay, how'd your wallet get so fat? Well, the IRS sent me $200,000. Why would they do that? Because my shit don't stink, Marvin. Did you get $200,000 from the IRS? No. Oh, well, you got stinky shit. That's true. When he leaves the bathroom, it does stink. Exactly, Marvin. My shit smells like daisies. No, seriously, why did the IRS send you $200,000? It was probably a mistake, but hey, I'm living large. Well, what are you going to do when they find out? You're going to go to jail. They're not going to find out, Marvin. It's just a measly $200,000. They make, like, trillions. They're not going to notice. Okay, but when they do notice, you're going to go to jail. No, I'm not, and I'm going to call them butt suckers, because they're butt suckers. What? They're butt suckers, Marvin. The IRS stands for internal rectum suckers. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. So the reason I'm here, I wanted to know, speaking of rectum sucking, if you wanted to go to the strip club with me. Marvin can't go to the strip club. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Well, here's $300. Go buy yourself some Applebee's. Marvin's coming with me. Oh, okay! What? Oh, 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 grab all of it. Make sure you get all of it. Come on, Marvin, let's go to the strip club and suck some butt. <sighs> Excuse me, miss. I have one money. Can I see boobies? All right, Ricky, beat it. Again, but if I do that, I'll go to jail again. No, not that, Ricky. I mean, get out of here. Oh, okay. Who's that? That's Ricky. He beats off at the strip club. Come on, Marvin, throw money with me. Yeah. Oh my God, yes, thank you. <laughs> hey, Marvin, you think if I gave her 50 grand, she'd bang me? Yeah. Okay, let me ask. Uh, excuse me, miss, uh, would you have sex with a guy for $50,000? Yeah. Huh, what a coincidence. I happen to have $50,000 right here. Oh my god, last night I banged someone for $50. Oh, you did? Oh, well, maybe my starting bid was a little too high. Well, now I need to make her not want me. Um, excuse me, ma'am, I, I have to tell you I have AIDS. Ew! Yeah, sorry. Okay, we'll lowball the next tripper. Coming up next on stage, we have Clarissa. Marvin, Marvin, that's the Applebee's waitress. Oh, God, you again? You just spent $600 at Applebee's and only tipped me $10. Yeah, you're welcome. You know, the IRS accidentally gave me $200. Yes, yes, I know. You told me like nine times at dinner. Yeah, well, I have about $150,000 left, so I was thinking maybe we could try to make that $149,990. $10? Yeah, for me and Marvin Eiffel Tower, yeah. Oh, I've always wanted to go to Paris. Oh, no, not like that. See, basically, like, um, like I would be on one side with my hand up. No, 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 we're not gonna do that, shut up. Oh, come on, Marvin, I have money, she'll do it. So we're not going to France? Hmm, actually. Hey, Marvin, you wanna go to Paris? Well, Marvin, Paris is really nice. I don't really see a lot of black people, though, so I don't really get the song. What? Y you know, the song, that Kanye West and Jay-Z song, N-Words in Paris, I just, based on the song, you'd think there would be a lot of them, I just, I haven't really seen many. I think the song was based on them being in Paris. Oh. Yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense. I like the Eiffel Tower, though. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. That actually looks pretty much exactly like what we did to that stripper for $10. You know what? Actually, I say we go back to the hotel and pay her another $10 to do it again. Yeah, I think we should. Ugh, jet lag. Am I right, Marvin? Where have you been? Oh, we went to Paris. France? Yeah. Yo. 
<laughs> we both said yes at the same time. Three round trip tickets, first class. Three? Who did you take with you? Uh, some strip. No, it's some girl. Wait, no. You were going to be the girl that we took, but we didn't think you wanted to go, so he just bought an empty seat so he could have more leg room. Oh, I would have gone. Yeah, well, the tickets were like $30,000, and the room was ten grand. but I mean, it did have a view of the Eiffel Tower, meaning it had a mirror next to the bed. What? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. Let's just watch TV. Breaking news, McKay! The IRS has accidentally deposited large amounts of money into people's bank accounts. If you've received a large amount of money on accident into your bank account, do not spend it. If you did spend it, you'll be in big trouble and Uncle Sam will give you a spanking. Jinkies. Right, guys? Jinkies? Damn right, Jinkies! You're gonna spank it by Uncle Sam! No, 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 no. I only spent half of it. I still have 100000 left. I think the IRS would be very proud of me for telling them I only spent half. Especially if I tell them what we spent it on, right, Marvin? Wait, what did you spend it on? Oh, I'll get it, even though this isn't my house. No, I'll get it. Yes? Hey there, I'm Uncle Sam, and I'm looking for a Brooklyn the guy. I'm him. My shit don't stink. Now, I highly doubt that. Did you happen to receive $200,000 deposited in your bank account from the IRS? Yes, I did. Thank you. That was very generous. How did you know my birthday is in four months and I'd like to receive large amounts of money early as a gift? Oh, 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 oh. I guess you didn't think that was funny. Now you gonna pay me back that money, boy, or Uncle Sam is gonna give you a spanking. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. In court. Come on, boy. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who received a $200,000 deposit into his bank account from the IRS. Ooh, money, money. But that was apparently an accident, and he spent the money anyway, knowing it was not his to spend. Brooklyn Guy, tell me what happened. Shit, Your Honor, when I saw that 200 thousand in my bank account, I thought, man, a brother can finally breathe, you feel me? I've been paying my taxes for the last 25 years, doing everything right. So I figured that was just a little gift for being such a law-abiding citizen, you know, like a, like a stimulus check or something. Hmm, I see. That does make sense. I could understand how you would think they were rewarding you for being so compliant by paying your taxes all these years, like some sort of random IRS lottery. Uncle Sam... Tell me your side. Well, you see, Your Honor, that boy knows that money wasn't his. It was my money to do with whatever I so desire. And if he don't pay it back, what I'm gonna desire to do is take this freaking hammer right here and beat his ass to death with it in front of all of you! Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Br Brooklyn guy, uh, can you pay him the money back? Your Honor, I only have a hundred thousand of it left. Wait, 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 I'll make another hundred thousand, I swear! You better! Okay, okay, uh, uh, Brooklyn guy, I order you to earn another one hundred thousand dollars to pay Uncle Sam back the two hundred thousand dollars that you spent that wasn't yours. Um... Go make the money. I'll be there tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Marvin! Nuggie, 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 nuggie. I'm assuming court went well since you're in a good mood. Oh, yeah, it went fine. I have to pay all the money back. What? You have to pay it all back? Don't you only have 100000 left? Yeah. Well, well, how are you going to make another $100,000? Oh, Marvin, I have an easy way to make $100,000. If making $100,000 so easy, then let us know how to do it. Yeah, we want to know. Okay, well, tonight is the NBA playing tournament, and guess who's playing? The Miami Heat. Or should I call them the Miami Gets Beat, because that's what they do. They get beat, because Jimmy Butler is their whole team, and he would rather focus on his coffee company than play basketball. I thought you liked Jimmy Butler. Well, I did up until last year when he put on a tutu and danced around and pleasured the entire Denver Nuggets team. So I'm not going to be a fan of the Miami Heat again until they get a 3-0 lead in the finals, which, I mean, Miami will be long submerged by the ice caps melting before that ever happens. Okay, so how are you going to make an easy $100,000 off of that? Oh, yeah, yeah. So they're going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. So I checked the 76ers roster and check this out. Nobody on their team has a coffee company. You know what they do? It's fucking crazy. They play basketball. The sport that they get paid to play. So that's why they're going to win, and so I bet all my money on the 76ers. So you bet $100,000 on the 76ers to win, and if they win, you get your money back. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, but what happens if the Miami Heat win? <laughs> Marvin, they're not going to win. They don't want to win. See, because Jimmy Butler, if he wins, he has to play more basketball. And he definitely doesn't want to do that. He wants to make coffee and country music or whatever the fuck it is he does these days. Okay, so if the Miami Heat do win, what are you going to do? Because then you'll be $200,000 in debt. Well, I mean, if Jimmy Butler doesn't drink his coffee and somehow wins, then I guess I'm going to have to flee the country because I'm going to be in so much IRS debt. But that's not going to happen, Marvin. But this video does come out before we know the results. So I guess you're going to have to use your imagination for how sad I'm going to be. Or how happy I am. Let's find out. Hey, Dad, can I go outside and step in dog poop? Ew, no, Jeffy, why would you want to do that? Because I like the sound it makes when I step on it. No, Jeffy, you can't go outside and step in dog poop. That's gross, Jeffy. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna do it anyway, can you at least put shoes on? Ew, Marvin! But Daddy, I can't find my shoes! What do you mean you can't find your shoes? Well, they ran away! How'd your shoes run away? I don't know, but they did it, Daddy. Jeffy, shoes can't run away unless you're the one in the shoes running. Well, I just can't find them, Daddy. Did you look everywhere? Well, I looked everywhere and I thought that they could be. And where's that? On my feet. They're not on your, if they were on your feet, they wouldn't be lost, Jeffy. Look, I'm gonna help you find your shoes. All right, Daddy. <gasps> Jeffy, I found your shoes! No way! I looked everywhere! Oh, booger! Why are you two in my shoes? Bad booger, bad! Now we have to get your new shoes, Jeffy. Well, Daddy, I can step in dog poop without shoes. No, Jeffy, we'll get your new shoes and you're not stepping in dog poop in them. <sighs> Ugh. Did you find Jeffy's shoes, Marvin? Yes, I did, but his pet dinosaur booger ate him. Oh, no! So now we have to get Jeffy new shoes, and they're going to be so expensive. Well, I could go to the thrift store and buy him a used pair of shoes. Yeah, just do that. Can you give me the Poop Stompers 3000? No, Jeffy, you're not going to stop and poop in your new shoes. Okay, I'll be right back. Marvin, I'm back. Oh, my God, those shoes are cool. Mommy, those shoes are the tits. How much do those cost? They were only $20, Marvin, and the owner of the store said Michael Jordan used to wear these when he was a kid. Michael Jordan? Yeah! Well, they're about to belong to Scotty Poopin' after he gets on stepping in dog poop with him. Or Shaquille O'Neal. Or, or Fecal Jordan. <laughs> Jeffy, put these shoes on. Uh. Daddy, look, these shoes fit perfectly. Well, you better take care of them, Jeffy. Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I'm only going to step in the finest dog turds with these babies. You better not, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, actually take care of these shoes. Look, I bet your friends are jealous. Go show your friends. Oh, you're right, Daddy. I bet you they don't have dog turd stompers like these babies. I'll be right back. Oh, I made it again! <laughs> when do we get a turn? We're playing Make It Take It, so whenever I miss it, that's when you get a turn, but I don't miss. <sighs> We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> see? He keeps making it. Yeah. Oh. He just keeps making it. Forever. See, see, watch this. Uh, do it again. Uh, oh, God. Oh, finally, he missed. We get a turn. Yeah, okay, finally. Now it's my turn. Hey, guys, can I play? No, we haven't even had our turn yet. Cody, just let Jeffy have a turn. He probably sucks at basketball. He's gonna miss this shot anyway. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Whoa, he made it. Oh, you know what? New rules. Everybody has to shoot from way back there because we're shooting from way too close. Okay. From right here? Yeah, from right there. He's totally going to miss this. Yeah. Yeah. What? You made it from there? Heck yeah. Well, uh, uh, you have to make it from the balcony now. How about that? Okay. Yeah, he's going to miss that. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, try to make it from up here. Dude, I can't even make it from up here. I know. I'm trying to get Jeffy to lose his turn. All right, watch this. Yeah. Heck yeah! How did you keep making it? Oh, I know a shot that you definitely can't make. Come on! All right, Jeffy, for this next shot, you have to shoot the ball over the balcony and make it to the goal. But, Jimmy, that's impossible. And you have to do it over your head. That's even more impossible. Just go sit by the goal and see if he makes it. All right, Jeffy, shoot the shot. All right. Whoa, he made it! Dude, he just doesn't miss! What? He made that? Yeah, yeah, he did! Oh, when's he ever gonna miss? I don't know. Did I make it? Yeah, Jeffy, how are you so good at basketball? I don't know, it must be the new shoes I got from Michael Jordan. What? Michael Jordan used to have those shoes? No way, dude! Oh, this is like that movie, Like Mike. What? What? Well, you know, that movie where the kid gets Michael Jordan's shoes and they make him good at basketball? That never happened. Wait, that's a thing? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, so you're saying that Jeffy's only good at basketball because he has Michael Jordan's old shoes? I mean, maybe. Wait, so you're saying as long as he's wearing those shoes, he's never going to miss? I, I guess. Jeffy, let's try it. All right, Jeffy, try to make a shot. All right. <clears throat> All right, now take the shoes off. All right. Try to make another shot. He missed! It's the shoes! It's the shoes! Oh, my God. So if Jeffy's wearing those shoes, he could be in the NBA. He'll never miss. He'll win, like, 25 championships. Oh, my God, that's awesome! Uh, who could that be? 
Hello? Hey, man. Uh, what are you doing here? Hey, do you have any eggs? Eggs? Yeah, my wife wants to make scrambled eggs, but we don't have any eggs. Why didn't you go to the store? Well, because that cost money, and I figured I could get them for free from you. I mean, you're not going to say no, right? I, I came all this way. <sighs> They're in the fridge. Thanks, bud. Ooh, I'm going to get a drink while I'm here, too. Ooh, and maybe some chips. I mean, he already said yes to the eggs. He's not going to say no to that. Dude, he just doesn't miss! What? What's that all about? Come on, Jeffy, make it again. Yeah, come on. Guys, I've already made it like 300 times. I know, just do it one more time. Please. What's going on in here? This kid can't miss when he shoots the basketball. What? Yeah, yeah, he just can't miss a shot. He's been making them all night. No way, show me. Yeah, 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 try, try this shot, Jeffy. All right. Yeah. Whoa. See, he just doesn't miss. Wow, kid, you should go pro. Well, he's really young. He can't go pro yet. Huh, yeah, you're right. But he's not too young for me to use him to hustle some people down at the gym. Huh. Hey, kid, come with me to the gym. I think you guys are good enough to beat the national champs. Wait, really? Yeah, come on. There they are. They're legit. Best, best. God, they're really good. Yeah, there's a reason they won the championship. You think we can beat them? Not you, your friend. But a basketball team needs five people, so also you. Okay. I'm gonna go see if they'll accept the challenge. That's what I'm talking about, Tron! That's what I'm talking about! Excuse me, sir. Hey, what do you want? I'd like to make a little wager. A wager? Yeah, I'd bet this kid and his friends could beat you and your team in a game of basketball. <laughs> You know we're the champions, right? Well, yes, sir, I do know that. Which is why I'd be willing to bet $50,000 that this kid could beat you in basketball. $50,000? Oh, you serious, serious? Oh, I'm serious. You don't have $50,000. Shut up. Hey, so, uh, so we have a deal? Uh, hold on, let me see, let me see. Hey, y'all think we could beat these little kids in a basketball game? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a challenge. All right, I'll get the rest of the kids. Hey, and if we, if we win... You never get to touch a basketball another day in your life, you got that? I don't know how you'd ever enforce that, but okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey kids, you ready to make me $50,000? What? He thinks we can beat a professional basketball team. But we can't beat a professional basketball team. Well, not on your own, but Jeffy can. He never misses. Yeah, guys, I think we can do it. All right, come on. All right, what scrums are we going up against? They're right there. Bruh, check out the half court shot. Almost, okay, almost, yeah, y'all made right. that, y'all saw that, right? Yeah, what yeah, yeah almost, it's the effort that counts, it's the effort. Okay, but that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. We're going up against th 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 them? I think so, dude. Don't worry, your friend here can't miss. Isn't that right, Jeffy? Right, I don't miss anything, I just keep making buckets. Okay, let's do this. Hey! I didn't think you'd actually show up. What, do you think I'd make a $50,000 bet involving children and not show up? No, we're here and we're ready to play. Where's your team? Oh, my team's here. Hey, guys, and one girl. Come here. Yeah, my team's here. And we got another guy in the bathroom, but we're here. All right, let's play then. Well, let's play then. Okay, let's play. Be prepared to never touch another one of these ever again in your life. Well, that's not really much of a change for me, but all right, yeah. Yeah, come on. Ow. All right, you guys ready for tip off? Oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Hey, y'all, look, he's wearing a diaper. We're playing against a baby. <laughs> it's going to be easy. Jeffy, don't let him get in your head. Uh -huh. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Pass it to Jeffy. Yeah. He made that? Oh, no. Come on, guys. Oh, it's on now. Oh, my God. You see that three-pointer? Way to go, Jeffy. Good shot, Jeffy. I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, sir. What? What? It's on me, baby. It's Damn it. Come on, guys. Step it up. Oh, dude, I love basketball. Pass it to Jeffy. No, dude, I got this. Pass it to Jeffy. Oh, dude, I'm going to make it. Watch this. Uh. Oh, dude. Are you supposed to pass it to Jeffy? Dude, I just ate popcorn. Oh. Oh, yeah! Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what happens yeah. when you don't give the ball to Jeffy. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Pass the ball to Jeffy. Oh, uh, uh, Jeffy! Oh, where are you going, Jeffy? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going this way. Uh. <laughs> we losing! We don't lose! Oh, my God! Another three points! We are killing it! You ain't got this? You ain't got this? Oh, here you go, Tron! This is my house! <laughs> tighten up, Tron, tighten up! 
Yeah. Come on! Yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Pass the ball to Jeffy. Yeah, but he's so far away, though. Well, yeah, 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 that's what I'm about. You got the ball stolen away from a girl? Yeah. Yeah! That happened because of you. I'm sorry. Okay, six to six. A tight game. Come on, we got this. Where you going? Where you going? You ain't making another shot today. Junior, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Y'all see me dunk down? Yeah, that was crazy. Yes, yeah, the shoes. Yes, yeah, those shoes. The shoes. Shoes. You can't cover me. You can't cover me. Woo. He took my shoes! Uh, how do I keep getting the ball? Just pass the ball to Jeffy. Hey, Jeffy. Uh, no! Wait, no, you take it. No, I don't have my shoes. Uh, he doesn't have his shoes. Uh, time out! Hey, you can't call time out. Time out, time out. Wait, what's going on? Why'd you guys call time out? One more shot and we win. Someone took my shoes. Yeah, someone took his shoes. What? Okay, I don't even have legs. Who cares? Why do you need shoes? There's something we didn't tell you. Wait, what? The shoes he had on, they used to belong to Michael Jordan. They were magical shoes, and it made him where he wouldn't miss a single shot. What? Oh, oh, I don't have time for this shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What, well, okay, where's the shoes? Number one took them, and number 11's eating them. Yeah, yeah, eat that. You deserve it. You earned it. What? what? Okay, okay, okay. F forget about the shoes, okay? You, you never needed the shoes. Actually, we did. Yeah, well, they made them where he didn't miss a shot. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to do without them, okay? Because you can do this, okay? I know you can do this. I believe in you. Just just look deep within yourself, okay? Because if we lose this, I'm, I'm gonna go bankrupt, and I will never be able to touch a basketball ever again. Although I'm a lot less worried about that one. So get back out there and just get one more shot. That's all we need. Okay, let's do it. Come on, let's play. One more shot wins the game. Oh. oh, what's the matter? You can't make a shot without your magical shoes? Um, actually, I cannot. Cody, here. <laughs> Cody, shoot it. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. Just shoot it. Okay. Yeah. You won that you didn't need shoes, you did it! Oh my god! Woo! Oh my god, they did it! Those kids won, they actually pulled it off! I, I could kiss you, I'm gonna kiss you, I'm gonna end up on some kind of list, but I'm still gonna kiss you. Do it again. Cody, we won, let's go celebrate! I gotta admit, those kids, they're pretty good. Yeah, I mean that one kid probably just got lucky, but still, yeah, we won, so where's my money? Yeah, deal's the deal, you'll get your money. <laughs> Alright, awesome! Hey, Danny! Jeffy, what happened to your new shoes? Somebody ate them. No one ate them, Jeffy! Stop lying! Danny, you have no idea the truth behind what I just said. Hey, Marv! But Brooklyn guy. Uh, 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 it's $50,000 guy now. <laughs> $50,000? How'd you get all this money? Well, because your son helped me win a $50,000 bet. But I scored all the points. No, you didn't score the game-winning shot. But I still want to thank you by giving you some of this money. <gasps> Where'd you get some of that money? Well, I mean, I'm going to give it to your dad because that seems more responsible. Okay, how, how much are we getting? You are going to get $100. $100? Yeah, you can buy your kid some new shoes. Hey, Dad, can we get the Poop Stompers 3000s? <sighs> yeah, let's go. Sweet. Can't really pick it up. I got you. Wait, no, give it. I, I need it. Oh, sorry, sorry. All my money, I just. Oh, Jasper, get in here! Yes, ma'am. Have you found me another Dalmatian puppy to kill yet and use its fur for me knickknacks? No, ma'am, but don't you think you've killed enough Dalmatians? I mean, you've literally killed a hundred. And I need to kill one more. The movie is called 101 Dalmatians. I mean, yeah, I got it. But, like, I don't think anyone would know that you haven't killed 101 Dalmatians. I mean, this is a lot of fur. If the police ever came here and found out that you killed 100 Dalmatian puppies, you would be facing 100 counts of animal abuse. You would make my Michael Vick look innocent. 
And you've helped me do it, didn't you? Well, yeah, but money will make you do some crazy things. Look, are you going to help me get the last Dalmatian or not? Oh, I really don't want to. I mean, screw it. What's one more at this point, right? Now go get me last Dalmatian. Go quick. Well, are you in that much of a hurry to kill one more Dalmatian puppy? Go now, Jasper. All right, I mean, you're sick in the head. You know that, right? Get out! I mean, you seriously need some counseling. Jasper, go! Hey, Daddy. What? What was that about? George Bush made me do it. Jeffy, go throw your paper airplane somewhere else. Okay. Mm-mm-mm, mm, this chicken Alfredo busting! Ooh, but wait right here, chicken Alfredo, because you know me. Chef PB got to take out his PP to go PP. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, don't move. Don't move at all, baby. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Chicken Alfredo. I was playing with it a little bit. You know, I'm jiggling and stuff. Oh, oh my God, the fire! Somebody call the fire department! It's a fire! Relax, everybody. The fire department is here. There you go. I put out the fire. No, no, down, 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 boy, down, down. Well, I didn't mean stop. I, I actually just meant lower. Uh, does anybody have a jar of peanut butter? I'm about to act up. Wait, what's going on in here? I put out the fire in the kitchen. Why was there a fire in the kitchen? I don't know. I don't know either. I was cooking chicken Alfredo. Then I had to go to the bathroom to play with myself a little bit. Then came back in here and my chicken Alfredo's on fire. Well, there is a piece of paper in the pan. Oh, no, Jeffy. Wait, what the hell did Jeffy do? He was playing with a paper airplane. I think he threw it in the pan. Oh, damn it, Jeffy. Well, that means I'm going to have to give you a stern talking to. No, no fires in the house. <laughs> That's right, boy. Who's that? Oh, this is Puppo, the firefighting Dalmatian. <laughs> we dressed him up like a firefighter. Isn't that cute? Don't you just love putting animals in people clothes? I mean, he hates it, but I think it's adorable. And the bitches love it. They're like, oh, what's his name? And I'm like, oh, what's your phone number? Maybe I can bring him by your house later and do some other things. Why'd you hire a Dalmatian for the fire department? Well, Dalmatians have been going endangered lately for some reason. A lot of kidnappings of Dalmatians. So we figured if we give him a job, I can keep an eye on him. Although, a firefighter is a pretty dangerous job. He's going through your pantry right now. Yeah, I think he's looking for some chocolate. He just wants to end it. Oh, good boy, Puppo! Where was that bathroom you were talking about? What? Never mind, we're gonna go do it in the truck. Uh, where am I gonna find a Dalmatian at this time of night? Okay, Puppo, no biting this time. Let me just get the lid off this jar. Ooh. Excuse me? Yes? Is that a Dalmatian? Yep, it is. Can I take your Dalmatian for a walk? What? No, the fuck? Get out of here, you weirdo. Well, uh, I've always wanted a Dalmatian, and I've never seen one before. Oh, there you go. Now you've seen one. Now get out of here. Look, I really need to take that Dalmatian for a walk. Look, the only way you're seeing me or my Dalmatian is if there's a fire. Wait, uh, so you're saying if I go and start a fire, that you and that Dalmatian will show up? Yeah, with half a jar of peanut butter. But that's a whole jar of peanut butter. Exactly. I got it. Oh, oh man, I really hope this works. Hello? Uh, good afternoon, sir. I was just wondering if I could come inside and cook dinner in your kitchen. The fuck? No. What's going on, Hank? This weirdo wants to come inside and cook dinner in our house. I told him no, so handle it. I gotta go take a wicked dookie. I'm so sorry. What was it that you wanted? Um, I was just wondering if I could come inside. Oh and co my God! I love your accent. Where are you from? The UK. Oh well, I've always wanted to be with a European man. You can come inside the house and do whatever you want. But is it your husband in the bathroom? Oh well, he takes a long number two, so I will be in the bedroom getting ready. All right. <laughs> Alright, mm. let's get this party started. Hey, what are you doing? I'm starting a fire in your kitchen, little girl. Why are you doing that? Because I have to steal a Dalmatian. That doesn't make any sense. You might want to step back. Fire! Someone come help! Ugh, hey there, somebody called the fire department. This better be an emergency. Oh no, fire! Ugh. Get over here! Uh, Wait, hey, get back here with Sucko! I, I mean Puppo! Uh, swiper no swiping! No. Swiper no swiping! No. Swiper no swiping! Oh, man! Come here, Puppo. Why are you trying to steal my Dalmatian? Because I work for Cruella de Vil! Well, a girl who thinks she's Cruella de Vil, and she's killed a hundred Dalmatians, and she wants to kill one more. Well, Jesus, that sounds like a job for when I'm a cop. Well, you're not gonna steal my Dalmatian! Oh, yeah, we'll see about that! Well, I'd like to see you try! Again! Come on, Puppo. There's some sick people in this world. 
Well, I gotta clean off my uniform first. <sighs> Marvin, you're never gonna believe what happened. Somebody tried to kidnap my Dalmatian. Wait, like the movie 101 Dalmatians? Yeah, exactly like that. Somebody thinks she's Cruella de Vil and she's already killed 100 Dalmatians and now she's trying to kill my Dalmatian. Oh no! Oh, why don't you dress up like a cop and arrest her? Oh, good idea, Marvin. I should get a different Dalmatian to give her so she kills that one instead of my Dalmatian. Marvin, that's a horrible idea. That's not what I said. I said, why don't you go arrest her for killing Dalmatians? Marvin, you sick bastard. I'm not going to breed Dalmatians and start a puppy mill of Dalmatians just to give her to keep killing them over and over again. That's terrible. Marvin, how could you think of something so awful? That's not what I said. I said... <sighs> Why don't you slowly torture all the Dalmatians? Well, Marvin, I can't just dress up like a cop and arrest her. I don't have any proof. Anybody could have killed all those Dalmatians. But if I give her a Dalmatian to kill in front of me, then I could arrest her for killing a Dalmatian. Well, why don't you just give her your Dalmatian? I can't give her mine. Mine is specially trained to do firefighter things. There, I, there's no way I could train another dog to do that and enjoy it. Okay, well, how are you going to find another Dalmatian? Well, on Craigslist, of course. Looky here, Dalmatian for sale, only 35 bucks. That's not a Dalmatian. That looks like an angry dog. I know, but we could just paint Dalmatian spots on it and nobody would know the difference. Okay, go get it, I guess. Well, I was kind of hoping you guys would go get it. Well, why us? Well, because I have kind of a reputation about dogs and peanut butter, so nobody's going to sell me a dog, but they'll definitely sell one to a happy couple like you two. Okay, what's really going on? I don't want to play two characters in the next scene, okay? Just go. <sighs> okay, well, can you give us the $35? Um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, here's 40 but bring me back the change. I can't keep the $5 for gas money since I'm driving to get this dog. No. No, 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 no. All right, baby, this is the house. Hello! Welcome to Craig's house! Oh, hi, Craig. We saw your dog on Craig's list. Yes! Isn't it hilarious? My name is Craig, and I posted on Craig's list! Oh! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yes! Okay, so can we get the dog? Yes, come on in. He's locked in the room. <laughs> okay, he's in here. <laughs> there he is. There's Mr. Cuddles. You can pet him if you want to. Uh, does he bite? Yeah. Uh, does he break the skin? Oh, yeah. Is, does he latch on and doesn't let go? Oh, yeah. He did that to my dad. But did it hurt him? Oh, yeah. Wait, does he have rabies? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rabies? Yeah, but he is purebred. Oh, oh, okay, uh, baby, give him the money. Okay, here you go. Do you, uh, you. do you have change for 40? No. There you go, Mr. Cuddles. Ah! Ah, tell him to let go! Tell him to let go! Mr. Cuddles, no bite. Oh, dear God, make it stop! <laughs> oh, my God, I got the stupid dog you wanted. And look, his tooth came off into my leg. Oh, no. Where's the $5? He didn't give us change. Ugh, you're going to ruin a friendship over 5 bucks. Well, just so you know, I'm starting to tab on you. You owe me $5. <laughs> ah! Get him off! Get him off! Marvin, quit playing around with the dog. we got to make him look like a Dalmatian. I'll go get the stuff. <laughs> now, does that look like a Dalmatian or what? Wait, how did you get it to calm down? Easy. I just hit it with the old horse tranquilizer. It should be out for about 15 minutes. Why didn't you give him a tranquilizer before he bit me? Well, I wasn't there, was I? No, I wasn't. But I called the guy who wants to steal my Dalmatian so I can give him this one instead. Hello, did someone call me? Yeah, so since you want to steal my Dalmatian, I bought you a different one. So here you go, kill this one. Oh, wow, thank you. You made my job a lot easier. Yeah, just take this one back to your boss and hope she doesn't want to do the sequel, 102 Dalmatians. Yeah, let's hope not. But knowing that crazy bitch, she probably will. Well, since this was a successful day, I'm going to go get some peanut butter and give Puppo here a peanut butter corn dog. All right, ma'am, here's your hundred and one Dalmatian. What the bloody hell is that? A Dalmatian? You fucking wanker, that ain't a Dalmatian. It's a regular old mutt in a costume, ain't it? Well, it looked like a Dalmatian to me with a spots and whatnot. You're fired. Get out of here. Oh, I don't care. I already got paid. God, if you want it done right, you got to do it yourself. <laughs> what you doing? Oh, you're an ugly old thing, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Pooby from SML. I do the voice of Cody and Brooklyn Guy and a whole bunch of other people. Did you know we're selling Jeffy pianos right now on SMLmerch.com? Yeah, that's right. They make Jeffy noises whenever you press the keys. Listen to that. It's fucking crazy, right? Well, if you want one, you better grab one now because on July 31st, they disappear forever. Gone. Bye-bye. No more buying them. So you better get one now. Just, just thought you should know that. So you can do this. Listen to that. Wasn't that, Jeffy? Hey, Daddy! Jeffy, you're making a mess! Hey, Daddy! <laughs> I get it! Because it's hey! 
<laughs> oh yeah. Well, I got a joke for you, Jeffy. What? What does a gay horse eat? Dick. What? No, they eat. Hey. Oh, I guess that would make more sense. But they still like dick. I mean, whatever. Just get this off the couch. Let's let's watch the news. Breaking news. Okay. Since Joe Biden has dropped out of the presidential race, the Democrats are still looking for their nominee for the 2024 election to go up against Donald Trump. So if you think you have what it takes to be the next president, then start a campaign. Oh wow, they still need someone else to run for president. Oh dang, can I run for president? No, Jeffy, you have to be 35 years old. Oh, Marvin, you're over 35. You could be president. I'm not smart enough to be president. Well, daddy, that'd be the fucking pities if you ran for president, because then I could tell everybody that my daddy runs the country. Jeffy, don't say country like that. Well, all I said was country. Jeffy, you're saying it as two words. Say it as one word. It's country. I've always ever said a country. Jeffy, just stop saying it. Hey, daddy, I got a joke for you. What type of tree grows female peepees? What? A country. All right, that's it, Jeffy. You're grounded. And the first part of being grounded is you're going to get a vacuum and suck up all this hay. Why? Before a gay horse eats it? Yeah, exactly. So go get it. Too hard. No, that's what she said. What? Who is she? But, like, like, you know, like a, that's what she said? Like, like a girl has said that before? Who has said that, Marvin? Yeah, what's her name? But no, no, no girl has said that to me. It was a joke. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. So you lied? It's a joke. A joke is not a lie. I mean, it's not a true thing that happened, but... It so let, me, let me see who that is. Hello? Hi, Marvin. Oh, good, man. I don't have my house payment this month. I don't give a fuck. That's not what this is about. So what's it about? I need you to run for president. What, me? Why me? Because I am in a shithole of tax debt right now. I haven't paid my taxes in 10 years, and I'm actively being audited. They're already seizing my offshore bank accounts. So I need you to run for president so you can pardon all my tax debt. Well, why don't you just run for president and pardon yourself? I don't want to run for president because I don't want to have to live four years in the White House. Ew! Poor! My house is way better than the White House. Not to mention, the president's not allowed to drive. So how am I going to drive my Lamborghinis? Ew! Poor! And also, the last president that got sucked off in the Oval Office got impeached. I get sucked off all the time, Marvin. Like five to ten times a day. So I'm going to be impeached as fuck. So that's why I need you to do it. Well, I don't even think I have what it takes to be a president. Marvin, the only thing you need to worry about is money, and I got plenty of it. So I'll sit there and I'll support your campaign. Super pack as fuck. Are, are you sure I have what it takes? Yes. You like ice cream? Yeah. Well, great. You're a perfect replacement. Let's go get you a really nice suit and shit. Okay. Marvin, that's a nice suit. That looks good. Whoa, Marvin, what are you all dressed up for? I'm running for president. You are? Fuck yeah, he is. And I've already funded your campaign $200 million. So now you're the Democratic nominee. I am? Yeah. So now let's go to your first debate. Debate? Well, what am I even going to say? I don't know. Just answer the questions and do whatever you think. Okay. Come on. Hello and welcome to the 2024 presidential debate where Donald Trump will be debating new Democratic presidential candidate, Marvin Marvin. No fuck, that's his actual name, Marvin Marvin. All right, candidates, I'm gonna ask you some questions and you answer them. We'll start with you, Mr. Trump. What would you do to secure the border? Well, the first thing I would do is I would get a huge, I'm talking huge pair of scissors and I would cut right across the US-Mexico border and I would push Mexico out into the ocean so they're no longer connected to America, the greatest country in the world and Mexico would be its own little floating island of Mexicans not taking our jobs and we would maintain our Taco Bell jobs here because Taco Bell is a great American cuisine filled the bellies of many Americans. All right Marvin same question for you what would you do to secure the border? Uh the the border um I've been on a cruise to Mexico are, are they not allowed to take a cruise here like can they not visit America I, what's the problem? I don't I don't even know what he's saying, and quite frankly, I don't think he knows what he's saying either. Mexicans are stealing our jobs. Mr. Trump, please allow him to finish his answer. Oh no, that was that was that was my answer. I I don't know what the I've been to Canada. Are we stopping Canada too? All right. Well, next question, Marvin. How would you create more jobs in America? Well, ever since COVID, the McDonald's and Walmart where I live are no longer 24 hours, and so if I was president, I would make them open 24 hours. So that'll create jobs because I want a quarter pounder with cheese at 2 a.m. Okay, Mr. Trump, how would you create more jobs? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do to create more jobs is hire a bunch of people to build my huge pair of scissors for the border, 
Then the next thing I'm going to do for more jobs is I'm going to hire a bunch of Mexican watchers that are going to sit on the border. And what they're going to do is they're going to watch for Mexicans trying to swim back to our great big beautiful country. And then I'm going to hire more secret service agents. And then I'm going to hire more secret service agent trainers. And a new secret service director. And in the great big factory of bandages, I'm going to hire more workers to create more ear bandages. And then in all our hospitals, we're going to have more ear doctors. They're going to be great. They're going to be very intelligent. They're going to be handsome. And then we're going to have more dome builders for my indoor rallies because I'm not going outside anymore. I'm not going to do it. You can't make me do it. All right, final question. Mr. Trump, what would you do about gun control? Quite frankly, if everyone had guns that day, this wouldn't have happened in my beautiful ear because they would have shot him before he shot me right in my beautiful ear. The doctors even were astonished of how much it bled. They said, my ear bled more blood than they've ever seen anything else bleed ever. And that's astonishing to me. You could cut your finger off and it still wouldn't bleed more blood than my ear bled that day. But uh, they're still looking into why the ear bleeds more than any other body part that anyone has. Uh, but with that being said, I think babies should have guns. I think when you're born, they should put a gun in the baby's hands. And that is how we're going to make America great again. Fuck you. All right, Marvin, what about you? What do you think about guns? Uh, well, guns are loud and scary and they kill people. And I, I don't think I don't think you need an AR-15. I mean, a handgun's nice, I mean, to protect yourself. I don't, I don't know why you'd ever need an AR-15, because those are big and, like, the military needs that. I don't know why you'd need that. So, I don't, I guess you buy what you want, I guess. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you. This guy right here is a loser. I'm a winner. I bet, I bet he doesn't even know how to golf. What, what's your handicap? Oh, I'm, I'm not handicapped. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm mentally good. I think my son might be handicapped. I mean, I think, he, I think he's faking it sometimes, but I, I'm okay. I bet he can't even hit par on a par four. I, I can par four. Wrong. All right, that does it for this debate. Well, you did okay, Marvin, but I think Trump did better. The good news is we have until November to get you ready for the election, so I recommend playing more golf. Well, Marvin, I think you did great. And also, I think you're right. McDonald's should be open 24 hours again. Good afternoon, Mr. Marvin. Who are you guys? We're your new Secret Service agents. I'm Agent Earl, and this is Agent Guy. Hello. Oh, why do I have Secret Service agents? I'm not president. Well, we have to protect the candidates, too, to make sure they make it to the election. Oh, that's so fun! We're protecting him, not you! So what do you guys do all day? Well, we protect you at all times. You go to take a piss, we hold it. You take a shit, we wipe it. We protect you from everything. Oh, okay. Oh, my stomach's growling. He's got a Russian rat in his stomach trying to kill him. Get him down. Oh, oh, get, what? Get, get out of there, you Russian bastard. But I'm just hungry. What? I'm hungry. Oh, I thought you had a rat in your stomach trying to eat its way out of your abdomen, or maybe you swallowed some cyanide. No, I'm just hungry. I want to go to the kitchen and get some food. He needs food. Food. All right, let's go to the kitchen. I got this side. I got this side. We good? We're good. Are we good? We're good. Okay, move, 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 Marvin. Marvin, you running for president? I am. Oh, that's hard. Wait, what are you cooking? Oh, chicken enchiladas. Looks good, right? It looks like shit. Hey! Mr. Marvin, for your safety, I have to recommend that you not eat these. You're gonna get some kind of deadly diarrhea. I recommend we go somewhere safe with the roof, like Applebee's. I concur. I mean, we can go to Applebee's. I got this side. I got this side. Are we ready to move? We're ready to move. Are we good? We're good. Move, 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 move. Okay, Mr. Marvin, you stay right there while me and Agent Earl clear the area. Agent Earl, go! Okay, make sure you get rid of any knives and forks. We don't want anything pointy. Uh, I, I can use a fork. No, that's what the terrorists want you to do is eat with forks. You gotta use spoons only. Hello, welcome to Apple. What the fuck? Get her, get her, get her, get her! Get her, get her, get her. Get her. Who are you? I'm the waitress! Do you have a gun, you hippie? No, I work here. We good? We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ugh, what can I get you? Well, just to be safe. I think we should probably get um, one of everything on the entire menu just to make sure it's not poison. I think, girl. Are you going to pay this time? Uh, excuse me, this is a presidential candidate. Of course we're going to use campaign money to pay. Okay. All right, Mr. Marvin, when the food gets here, don't eat anything until me and Agent Earl have tasted it. All right, here's all the food. Oh, this all looks so good. I, I mean, poisoned. I'm bringing the check before you can run away. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? 
one, Marvin. I no. want a cheese stick. No, 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 no. I have to make sure none of this stuff is poisoned before you can eat it. I say we check the drink sparks. Good idea, Agent Earl. Hey, what the fuck? This is Diet Pepsi. This might as well be poisoned. Marvin, I'm doing you a favor. All right, now what do I want to taste test first? Ooh, maybe the chicken wonton tacos? Or maybe the chicken Alfredo? Or the four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tenders? Or maybe the kid's cheese pizza? Just don't touch my burger. His burger. All right, Marvin, just be patient and wait right there while we test this food. Agent Earl, ready? Ready. Are we ready? We're ready. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was definitely not poisoned. Nah. -uh. Oh, that was delicious, Marvin. What am I gonna eat? Oh, yeah, right. Well, I do have two French fries left that might be poisoned. So, how are you going to pay? <laughs> pay? We don't have to pay. He's a presidential candidate. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, I am. All right, that's it. Guys! Oh, 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 shit. Marvin, you okay, buddy? Man, damn. Oh, you got shot. Oh, we are so fired. Yeah. Oh, Marvin, I'm so sorry you got shot, buddy. We couldn't help. We were just in a food coma. We couldn't even move. You saw the gun and you jumped out of the way. Well, yeah, Marvin, it's a gun. It's fucking scary. I don't want to get shot. Your job is to get shot to protect me. Wh why would I get shot for you? Because you're supposed to protect my life. Wh why is your life worth more than mine? Well, it, well cause just your job is to, to die for me if you have to. Oh, Okay, you're definitely not fit to be president if you think you're better than everybody. I don't think, but your job is to protect me. Well, I don't want to get shot. I mean, a human life is a human life. Why should I die for you? That's not fair. Oh, okay, listen, then you're not good to be a Secret Service agent. Oh, I don't want to be. Fuck this. I want to get shot. I'm not doing this job. <sighs> Baby, I think I'm going to drop out of the presidential race. It's too stressful. You're not allowed to eat, and people try to kill you every day. I think that's a good idea, Marvin. Okay, how do I announce I'm quitting? Like, do I go on Twitter? I don't have a Twitter. I think you just say it. I'm dropping out of the presidential race. Who's at the door? Hello. Hello, Marvin. Oh, God. What do you want, Trump? Well, I just wanted to stop by because I heard that you dropped out of the race. I did. Loser. Loser. The hugest loser this country's ever seen. All right. Well, I thought you'd be happy. Oh, I am, Marvin. Build the wall, build the wall, build the wall, you. Build the wall huge and build it really tall Across the Mexico border Goodbye, fucker Oh, my ear! Oh, oh! Hey guys, it's Logan. Thank you guys so much for helping us reach our goal of selling two thousand jeffy pianos the jeffy piano will only be available until july 31st so if you still want one go on smlmerch.com right now and pre-order yours now thank you so much for being amazing fans we love you guys and i can't wait to make more videos for you what? It's important! I need to borrow your car keys and 50 bucks! What? No, Jeffy, you're not gonna use my card! Why do you need 50 bucks? Daddy, check it. I found this girl online and she said she would eat a hot fudge sundae off my junk for 25 bucks behind Walgreens. For 25 bucks? Then why do you need 50? Because I wanted to do it twice! That's a lot of ice cream, Jeffy. Yeah, hopefully she's not lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant? Uh huh. Mm, I only have $100. Well, then four times it is. She's gonna do it no times, Jeffy. Well, then do you want me to ask for change? What? No, no! Jeffy, listen, she's not going to do it at all because I don't want you eating ice cream in my car. Well, here's the thing, Daddy. I'm not eating ice cream. She is. I'm just the bulb. <laughs> well, no, Jeffy, I don't want any ice cream activities happening in my car. Just, just go get a job or something. What do you want me to do what she does for a living? Well, no, Jeffy, just go to your room and play, please. <sighs> all right, Daddy. I guess I'll ask her if she can get me a discount. No, no discount. Just, no, you're not going to do it. Marvin, maybe we should get Jeffy a car. Well, why would we get Jeffy a car? So he can go to Walgreens and do ice cream stuff? No, but he could get a job and drive himself to and from work. I guess you're right. If we do get him a car, he, he can go to get a job and he's 18 now so he can start being an adult. But we only have $100. Maybe I can go see if we can get like a cheap used car. Yeah, okay, Marvin. All right, baby. I just got Jeffy a very used car. Is it nice? It's... It's a car. Uh-oh, you hesitated. No, baby, it's good enough for Jeffy to go find a job, drive to work, and go do his ice cream festivities. Okay. All right, Daddy, check it. I got her down to 20 bucks. So if we take that 100 over there, you go two times, I'll go three times. No, Jeffy. All right, fine, I'll let you go first. Well, no, Jeffy, but me and your mom got you a very late 18th birthday gift. <gasps> Did you get her to come here? I gotta go clean my room. Well, no, 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 Jeffy, it's in the driveway. Daddy, you don't have to call her an it. Her pronouns are he, she, him, hers. It said it on the profile. Jeffy, no, listen, it's not whatever you're talking to. Come outside. 
All right, Jeffy. Surprise! Surprise! You guys got me a car? Yeah, Jeffy, you're 18 years old now, so you might want to get out of the house, get a job, make your own money. Marvin? Can I pick up fat hoes? Jeffy! What, 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 why are they going to be fat? More cushion for the pushing, Daddy. Well, uh, Jeffy, you can pick up whoever you want in that car, because it's your car, and you can do whatever you want with it. Daddy, can I pimp my ride and spray paint my car yellow? No, Jeffy, you cannot spray paint it yellow. But you said I can do whatever I want to my car. You did say that, Marvin. But spray paint's going to look so ugly, and it looks so nice right now. But, Daddy, I want to pimp my ride. Uh, you know what, Jeffy? Do whatever you want. Just, just go look for a job, please. That's all I needed to hear, Daddy. Oh, he's Come gonna, on, Marvin. He's going to ruin the car. It's time to Jeffy-fy this hoe. And done. The Jeffy Mobile is complete. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? I just got done spray painting my car, Junior. Whoa, you got a new car? It's so sick. It says your name on the hood. Yeah, I call it the hoe puller because it pulls hoes. Check out where they sit, Junior. Oh, shit here. That's so awesome. Yeah, and check out the trunk. It says, shibby. Oh, can we go for a ride? Sure, Junior. Let's go to McDonald's and get some Happy Meals. Holes love Happy Meals. They will suck your Kremlin. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, Junior. You ready to get some Mickey D's? Yeah. Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> let's try some tunes. All right. <laughs> I'm riding my Spider-Man bike. I'm just like Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 when he was delivering pizzas on his bicycle. That movie had Dr. Octopus in it. It was so crazy. Jeffy is trying to pull hose, to pull hose, to pull hose. Jeffy is trying to pull hose in this car. He's gonna help me do it. Woo! What, Jeffy, what was that noise? I don't know, Junior. Just keep singing. Jeffy is trying oh, to pull I, I think you hit something. Pull... No, I didn't, Junior. Just keep singing. Uh, Jeffy, Jeffy is trying to pull hose. Jesus Christ. What do we got, Simmons? Looks like a hit and run, mate. Ah, hit it and quit it, just like I used to do in college. So how's the victim? He was airlifted to the ICU. He's in a coma. Mm, so we're not going to be getting any answers out of him anytime soon. Any evidence left behind? Uh, not that I see. Wait, what's this? Look, Simmons, yellow paint. Oh, I thought that was mustard. I thought he was eating a hot dog while he was riding his bike. Well, no, I'm pretty sure this is just yellow paint. Well, why would he eat a hot dog with yellow paint on it? That'd what? make him sick. No, no, Sim Simmons, like, it, it, was, it was a yellow car, and it left its paint behind when it hit the bike. Well, what if the car was covered in mustard? Okay, Simmons, you know, I really appreciate how you think outside the box sometimes, but this is not one of those times. We need to find a yellow car. Well, it could be the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Oh, okay, you, you look for that. I'm going to go find a yellow car. All right. Hey, Danny. Me and Junior just went and got Happy Meals. Peep the box. Happy as fuck. Jeffy, language! You didn't go to Walgreens, did you, Jeffy? Oh, man, Danny, completely forgot about Walgreens. I'm going to need that 100 bucks. No, Jeffy, that's why we got you that car, so you can go get your own job and make your own money. Oh, maybe I can get a job at Walgreens. Then on my lunch break, I can go in the back and have an ice cream party. Every day would be a Sunday. Beep. No, Jeffy, how about you get a job at McDonald's? But he, she, him, hers, they, them isn't at McDonald's, Daddy. The news. Breaking news, okay? There was a hit and run involving a child on a bicycle, and police need your help to find out who did it. Mr. Goodman is on scene now with an eyewitness who saw the whole thing. Goodman? I'm here at the scene of the crime where a yellow car has struck a child on a bicycle and left the scene. I'm here with the only reported witness, Cody Nutkiss. Now tell me, Cody, give me every detail of what happened. Don't leave out any details. Well, I was just sitting here eating my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, and all of a sudden I heard a BAM, so I guess that's what that was. Truly remarkable and very graphic detail. Now, police are on the scene now, so if you have any information as to a yellow car missing paint, don't hesitate to call 911 immediately. Oh no! I hope that poor kid is okay. Good thing we don't know anyone that owns a yellow car. Damn it! They forgot my toy! Wait a minute. Jeffy, you spray painted your car yellow, right? I sure did, Daddy. And that hoe looked clean. I'm talking yellow like a banana. Oh wait, that's where I could work, Daddy. I could start my own paint and body shop. I could call it Jeffy's Blow and Go. Or Jeffy's Spray and Pay. I spray it, you pay it. Wait, so Jeffy, did you hit anything while you were driving today? Daddy, the only thing I hit was the gas pedal to get where I was going. I'm talking, yeah. But like, you didn't hit like anything like, like a kid on a bike? No, but they did add a weird speed bump in the neighborhood today. What? If you were a yellow car, Simmons, where would you park it? Is that a trick question? No. Because you drive on a parkway, but you park on a driveway. Wait, wait, Simmons, look over there! Well, 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 Simmons. If I had a dog, his name would be Bingo. What does this car have to do with your dog? Wait, no, S Simmons, I'm saying that we found the car we were looking for. What type of dog are you going to get, mate? I, I'm not getting a dog, Simmons. I'm saying that we found the car. I like cockapoos. Okay, great, but I'm saying we found the car because it's a yellow car that has scratches on it. Oh, so no mustard. No, no, no mustard. Now let's go knock on the door and serve up a hot plate of justice. Good, because I'm hungry. 
Who's at the door? Uh, uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, what do you fine officers want? Fine officers? <laughs> Buy me dinner first, handsome. I hook up with his mom. Oh, God, you had to mention that today? Uh, do you guys have a warrant? What? Okay, that was the most guilty thing you could have said. What do, do you have one? Because I don't know what you could be doing here. Okay, look, I don't know if you heard, but there was a hit and run today involving a yellow car, and we found a yellow car parked in your driveway. Oh, well, that's my son's car. Oh, can we have a word with your son? Uh, y yeah, sure, come in. Who's at the door, Marvin? It's the cops. Good, because I would like to file a report against McDonald's for forgetting my Happy Meal toy. Oh, I hate when they do that, especially when it's like a limited edition toy. And I really hate when they give you the toy you already got last time. It's like, you should know that I already have this toy. It's stupid. Why are the cops here? Oh, well, there was a hit and run involving a yellow car, and your son happens to have a yellow car. How do you know it's my car? Well, because there are scratches on your car, and there's yellow paint on the bike you hit. Well, how do you know it's not mustard on your bike? It, it's not mustard. Did you taste it? I... I did not. Hold on, I'll go taste it. Jeffy, if you did it, you should go admit to it right now. They'll give you less time if you admit to it. I plead the fifth. Ugh. Oh, God, no, that that is paint. That is not mustard. You definitely hit that bike. Well, what if the kid on the bike hit my parked car? Hmm, damn, I hadn't thought of that. He's got us there, Simmons. Hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Hello? What? The kid woke up from his coma? That's great! Well, you heard me. The kid woke up from his coma. So I'm gonna go ask him what happened. Oh, Jeff, you're gonna go to jail. I didn't even do anything. Hey, kid, how you feeling? Where am I? Why does my body hurt? Oh, well, you got hit by a car and you just woke up from a coma. That's so crazy. Yeah, listen, we need you to tell us if you remember getting hit by a car. Oh, yeah, I was delivering pizzas like a Spider-Man 2, and then all of a sudden his car came, and I tried to jump over with my spider powers, but I didn't. Wait, so you were actually trying to jump over the car? Yeah, but my webs couldn't attach to anything, so I got hit. Oh, uh, you're the real Spider-Man? Yeah! Oh my god, Simmons. We have to protect this kid's identity at all costs. If he presses charges, everyone's gonna find out his real name. We can't have that. Don't worry, kid. Your secret's safe with us. Hey there. What'd the kid say? Well, I can't divulge that information because of the Hippo Act, but I may or may not have met Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Him. I met him. Or maybe I didn't. Did you meet him or not? I don't know. Maybe maybe I met him. Maybe the kid was him. Maybe he was the kid. I don't know. Maybe he's Spider-Man. Maybe he's not. Who knows? The kid's Spider-Man? Oh, who told you that? Because I didn't tell you that. He's not He's not Spider-Man. Unless he is Spider-Man. I, I don't know. I didn't say that. Spider-Man's real? Yes, he's real. And I met him. Maybe. Well, okay. So what's going on? Is the kid pressing charges or not? No, Spider-Man is not pressing charges. So the kid is Spider-Man? No, no. I didn't I didn't say that. You, you said the kid is Spider-Man. You said the Spider-Man's not pressing charges. Sp Spider-Man is his lawyer. Look, stop asking me questions, okay? I need to go get an autograph. What? All right, Jeffy, uh, you learn a lesson from today. Daddy, she agreed to me here! Wait, who? The ice cream he, she, him, her! Who's that? It, it, them! Hello? Hey, I'm here to eat ice cream sundaes for 20 bucks. Oh no, Jeffy's putting tape on the couch again. Oh no, Jeffy, stop it. Baby, get the laser pointer. Okay. Jeffy, stop putting tape on the couch. Stop it. Here, Jeffy, go get it. Go get it. Come on, Jeffy. Yeah, get the laser. Make him go out of the room. Okay. Go get it, Jeffy. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, there's someone at the door. Baby, keep playing with Jeffy. I'm answering the door. Hello? Hey, Marvin. Can I come inside? I just need someone to talk to. Yeah, sure, buddy. Thank you. Hey, Dane, look what I did to the couch. I made it all pretty pretty. Baby, you're supposed to distract them with the laser pointer. The laser pointer died, Marvin. And I ran out of tape. Can you go in the store and buy me some more? Get out of here, Jeffy. Okay. Oh, there's tape all over the couch. Baby, you're supposed to hide the tape. I did, Marvin, but he found it. He always finds it. Why is there tape all over your couch? My son likes to put tape on the couch. Listen, what do you want to talk about? Well, I was on my way to my 27-year high school reunion, but then I found out that my high school bully's going to be there, so now I don't want to go. Why do you have a 27-year high school reunion? Oh, well, after the 25th year, people start dying, so they just do it every year. It's pretty sad. Oh, well, you said your high school bully's going to be there? Yeah, Candy Randy. Candy Randy? Randy. Yeah, let me tell you the story. So back in high school, there was this kid named Randy that everybody called Candy Randy because he would sell candy to everybody in the school. Now, for some reason, Randy didn't like me. I can't imagine why. But usually, he would only charge a dollar for his candy. But then one day, a couple hours before lunch, I was hungry and I had a dollar burning a hole in my pocket. So I went up to Randy and I was like, hey, Randy, let me get some Skittles. And he said, for you, that'll be two dollars. And I said, Randy, that's bullshit because usually you only charge one dollar and I only have one dollar. But he still wouldn't sell me the Skittles. So I did what any 
any man would do, and I picked my nose and I wiped a booger on him. And Randy didn't like that at all. He was pissed off, and he stood up and said, okay, meet me after school by the flagpole, and me and you are gonna fight. And then all the students and all the teachers went, ooh, so I pretty much had to do it at that point. So then I spent the whole rest of my day trying to figure out how I could fake my own death so I didn't have to fight Randy. I even tried to call my mom and see if she would check me out of school, but she wouldn't do it. So then, after school, I went up to the flagpole, and there was this huge crowd of people gathered around, and they were all chanting, Randy, Randy, and I was like, that's not fair, I can fight Randy, I got this, all he ever does is eat candy, I can take him. So then I started throwing haymakers, and Randy just kept dodging them, and then Randy started beating the shit out of me, I mean, he, he was good, and then the worst part is, his hands were still sticky from eating all that candy, and then after he got done beating me up, he took my underwear and tied it to the flagpole, and then he hoisted my underwear up like a flag, and then my underwear had a skid mark in it, so that was horrible, and then everybody started saying the Pledge of Allegiance to my underwear. I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. So that's the story of Candy Randy. Well, that's dumb. There's no way all your classmates are gonna remember that 27 years later. Oh, believe me, they're gonna remember the skid mark. It was huge. I practically shit my pants. You didn't wipe that day? Have you ever tried to wipe your ass with toilet paper at a school? It's like trying to wipe your ass with Taco Bell napkins. They're all rough and they're thin. I'd rather not even wipe, which is why I didn't. But my ass was itching a lot, though. I still think you should go to your high school reunion. Well, look, I'm not going, okay? I, I spent $150 to rent this suit for the night, and I don't want it to go to waste. So I was just wondering if you guys wanted to go to, like, Red Lobster. Maybe if we're feeling classy, we could try going to Applebee's. I mean, I really want to go to Outback, but there's no way I can reserve a table this late. Nah, not with their blooming onions. Did you say Candy Randy? Yeah, do you know him? Yeah, there was a guy at the gas station named Randy who sold candy. Wait, what do you look like? Did you look like an asshole? No, he had cornrows and tattoos. Yep, that's him. That's that asshole. What, you know him? Yeah, he sold me candy for a dollar. <laughs> a dollar for you? Why did it have to be two dollars for me, Randy? Why? <laughs> well, listen, you got to get over this Randy guy. So I think you should go to your high school reunion, go up to him with a dollar and try to buy some candy. Maybe he'll like you now and you can get over all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, it has been 27 years. Maybe he's cool now. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go, and I'll come back and tell you guys how it went. <laughs> well, what happened? Well, I got to the reunion, and Randy was selling candy for a dollar, so I tried to give him a dollar, and then he punched me in the face, and he took my dollar, and then he pulled my underwear out, and there were still skid marks on it, and then he started waving my underwear around, and everybody started laughing and calling me skid mark guy and poop clin guy, and that's not even clever. Yeah, Randy does have anger issues. How many times did you see this Randy guy? Well, we dated, like, ten years ago. You dated a candy salesman at a gas station? He was nice! He gave me candy! Oh my god, is he hot? Hell no. Well, why would you date a guy who sells candy at a gas station? I want to see him. Call him over. Are you sure? Yeah, I want to see him right now. We're going to beat him up. Okay, I think I still have his number. Let me get my yearbook. <sighs> okay, here's my yearbook. Aw, your wife signed it? Oh no, she signed that after we were already married because she thought it'd be cute. She didn't even go to the same school as me. Wait, who's Bake Ziti Feedy Peedy? Okay, look, I don't have time to explain all the names in the book. Okay, but I'll explain that one. See, I went to high school with this guy named Petey, and we all called him Big ZD Petey, because he always brought Big ZD to lunch and ate it, but then he went on a ski trip and he got frostbite on both his feet, so he had to heat him up by putting his feet in pans of Big ZD and walking around, so we started calling him Big ZD Feedy Petey. <laughs> All the names in your yearbook sound like freaks. Yeah, they are. All right, so look, there's Candy Randy's number. I still can't believe you dated a guy who sold candy at a gas station. It was forever ago, Marvin. Well, look, call him over here because I want to have a word with him. Okay, let me go get my phone. Okay, I called him and there he is. Oh, hey, what's going on, Dookie Pants? Don't call me that in front of my friends. You ain't got no friends. Yes, I do. I have two and they're right here. Oh, shit, is that Rosebud? Hey, Randy. Hey, you trying to get another taste of this pizza stick? No, Randy, I'm married now. Oh, well, that's a shame, because you just want a golden ticket to the white chocolate factory. You trying to see my Willy Wonka? Randy, meet my husband, Marvin. Ex-husband. Marvin! So you on the market? Because I'm trying to see where these little piggies are going. Hopefully they're going to be wee 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 and all the way back to my place. <laughs> No, Randy, I'm married. Well, he's one lucky man, because I remember when you used to li 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 lick me like a lollipop. You know, like that little Wayne song? You know that song, old man? I've heard it. What did you see in him? Well, I can tell you what she didn't see, a 401k or a high credit score. But what she did see was 7.3 inches below the waist on a good day. And every day was a good day. Okay, you know what? I think we should just talk about why we invited you over here. Oh, my bad. I was just reminiscing how I used to make up my Cadbury cream egg. You know what a Cadbury cream egg is? Yeah, I know what it is. I, listen, I want this. 
So Brooklyn guy wants to call you over here because he wants to fight you. Well, I didn't say that. Oh, so he's trying to get his ass beat. Well, no, no, he wants a professional fight in a boxing ring tonight. But no, no, Randy, I didn't say that. Okay, well, you're wrong. Well, you better stop training. I'll see you tonight. What, Marvin, why would you do that? Because you need to fight him. You need to get revenge. Listen, you need a professional fight that you actually train for so you can beat him up. But I already have a black eye. He's going to kick my ass. Well, look, we're going to do a training montage. We're going to fix your eye up, and you're going to be ready to fight him, okay? Okay. Come on. Oh, Marvin, I am so ready. I am ready to cheat. But cheat? Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to fight Randy fairly. He'd kick my ass. I don't think hitting punching bags for 20 seconds is going to help me fight. Well, how are you going to cheat? I'm going to poison him with tetrodotoxin. What is that? It is a very rare poison found in the pufferfish that will make him completely paralyzed, except he can feel everything. So when he's on the ground not able to move, I'm going to be wailing on him. Like, oh, fight back, bitch! You can't! Okay, so how are you going to get the poison in him? Well, that's why I have these glasses. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge Randy to a friendly water drinking competition. See, Randy is very competitive, so there's no way he's going to say no. So I'm just going to fill up these two glasses here, and then I'm going to take my poison and put it in Randy's glass. <laughs> he's never going to know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go call Randy. Okay, I'm going to keep stirring this so that it dissolves. Okay, I called him and there he is. Hey, 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 what's going on, Dookie Pants? I don't even care that you called me Dookie Pants. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, I thought before our fight we should hydrate. So I challenge you to a competition to see who can take the fastest sip of water. Okay, I'll do that. Water's good for your body. Okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> oh, man, Randy, it looks like you won. Yeah, because you're too slow. You better be fast in the fight. <laughs> Marvin, he's so stupid. He drank the poison. <laughs> What? What the fuck? Marvin! Marvin, I can't move! Well, did, did you drink the poison? Marvin, did you switch the cups? You never told me to switch the cups! You didn't switch the cups? You never told me to switch the cups! God damn it, I thought you said you were gonna switch the cups! No, you never told me to switch the cups! I mean, I, I guess it would make sense that we should switch the cups, but you had the cup of poison in front of you, but I thought you switched the cups! No, I didn't have time! He came over so fast! God damn it, I can't move! I can't fight now! Well, you still have to fight! We can't back out! I have to back out! I can't move! No, no, what if you still fight, but I'm in the ring and I throw the punches with your arm? What? That's stupid! No, it's, it's gonna work! We, we gotta do something! Okay, so let, let, let's just go to the fight. Okay, but you have to drag me. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I can't move, remember? Uh-huh. All right, buddy. Are you ready for your big fight? No, I can't move. But we have a plan. I'm going to swing your punches for you. They're going to see you. Maybe they won't. We went over this. Come on, let's go. I want to forfeit. All right, I want a nice and clean fight. We're going three rounds, just like I do with my wife every night. You better have my dinner ready, woman. I can relate. All right, you ready? Okay, go! I'm about to beat your butt like I did in high school. I'm going to swing for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on. You can't swing for him. Well, I I'm his trainer. Uh-uh, go ahead, train your ass in the corner, sir. No, rev, 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 it's okay. He can stay in. I'll beat his ass, too. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah. All right, then. 2v1, go! <laughs> Thank God. Ow, 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 get Marvin, protect my face. I'll try that. He's hit me. Well, one of us is going to get hit. Ow, 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 Time out, time out, time out. Ref, there ain't no time out in boxing. I know, but they ass needed. Oh, uh, come on, let's go think of a plan. Okay. All right, we have to think of a plan. Yeah, no shit. Marvin, I think we should just tell them that I tried to cheat and then reschedule for a time when I can actually use my body. You want to tell your high school bully you tried to cheat when fighting him? No, but I also don't want him to beat the ever-loving shit out of me again. No, look, we have to think of a plan because that's embarrassing if you tell him you tried to cheat. Okay, what if you get on top of my head and you control me like Ratatouille, like you pull my hair? Does that really work? I think that was just an animated movie. Yeah, you're right. I just have a kink for having my hair pulled. Ooh, I got an idea. What if I let him hit you in the face and then while he's hitting you in the face, I start hitting him? Okay, and then we take turns. No, 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 no. He just keeps hitting you in the face because he's not going to see it coming because while he's beating you up, I'll come up from behind him and start hitting him in the head. Okay, you know what? Fine, let's try it. Okay, we're going to win. Watch this. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to count this as round two because your ass lost the first round. That's fair. Look, try to put your hands up. Oh, believe me, I wish I could. Listen, man, I feel bad for you. So I'm going to do you a solid. I'm only going to fight you my left hand. See, see, that's generous. Only the left hand and his 2v1, he's handing it to you on the silver platter. Oh, yeah, there's no way I could lose. Look, look, are y'all ready? Round two, go! I call this one my gut punch. Oh my god. Ow, ow, Marvin, help me out. I wasn't expecting to hit me in the stomach first. Do you quit? Do you forfeit? Yes! Winner! Damn! I beat your ass in high school and I beat your ass as an adult.
I have a spit kink too, so that works. Oh my god, I can't believe you forfeit. We could have won. No, we couldn't. Oh, let's go. Uh -huh. Ugh, come on, buddy. Marvin, today was very embarrassing. Well, you would have had a chance to win if you didn't cheat. Well, it would have worked if you switched the cups. You never told me to switch the cups. I thought it went without saying. You should have told me to switch the cups. <sighs> Marvin, I hate when we argue. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, too. Well, there's one thing we have in common. We both hate Candy Randy. Oh, yeah, fucking hate that guy. Yeah, he's the worst. You want to help me take tape off the couch? Sure, just roll me over. I'll do it with my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, so... You got help? Uh, yeah, you gotta roll me over there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I hate when he puts all this tape. God, I wish I had teeth. Ah!